Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we would be understanding more about your test classes and the main focus today, we would be revolving around your test data factory. So what is your test data factory and how we could use this? We would be learning this in a bit. So uh, guys, basically what uh, uh, what is the main basis of your test data factory or basically, basically what a test data factory is like uh, whenever you are working with the test classes so many a time and all the times you have to create a domain data for which you do various types of tests so uh, if you are working in a organization so what is the best practice that we deals with is making a set of reusable uh, classes and methods so that we don't have to uh, create repetitive things each time okay what does that mean is so go to your file and create an apex class okay and name this as test factory or test data factory okay so i'm saving this with the name of test factory and uh, annotate this with at the rate is test okay and in here what you want to do is you have to put the repetitive code so what could be the repetitive code in here guys see uh, at any instance account is very necessary and account contact and opportunity in any test class is always uh, we always create such type of things so in our test data factory what we would be uh, doing is we would be creating a account public static account get account record or get account only and in this we would be passing a parameter that is name okay and in this what we would be doing is account a c c is equal to new account and uh, a c c dot name would be equal to the name that we have passed from uh, our parameter and what we would be doing is insert this a c c and after inserting what we would be doing is return this a c c okay and save this so see uh, this method you created for your account okay so now uh, you are to create a contact so uh, what you would be doing is public static uh, it returns a contact get a contact and since uh, we are associating this contact with an account id so you could uh, take a id of type account id or a string variable okay and uh, what are the necessary fields of a contact that is uh, string first name and the last name and uh, okay these are the required fields of our contact and uh, what we would be doing is uh, in here we would be calling this get account method why see account uh, a is equal to get account and the name would be uh, test and uh, from here this method called I call this get account method and this created me an account so see how a repetitive uh, code gets uh, used up in here and we don't have to write uh, a repetitive code and in this we will be doing contact c is equal to new contact and c dot account id would be equal to a dot id and c dot first name would be equal to f name and last name would be equal to uh, l name oops and uh, inserting c and returning this contact so what we did here is we created a contact and uh, 
we all we can also create one account with n number of contacts so we could do is public static list so uh, what we are doing is uh, we are generating uh, account with contact so account with contacts and in this we would be passing a variable number of contacts okay and now what i am doing is first of all i am getting a account account a is equal to get account and in this passing a dummy name test account with contacts and uh, what i would be doing is i would be having a list of contacts con is equal to new list of contact uh, okay it's contact and i would be looping over uh, my number of contacts so for I'm just uh, working with the required fields so last name uh, would be equal to test plus the ith variable and uh, list of contacts is con dot add c because uh, this is not a good practice to have your uh, dmls uh, or any query inside your for loop so because there is a high chance that you would be hitting the governor limits and so I would be doing insert con and what I would be doing is c dot account ID would be equal to a dot ID I would be doing this and I would be inserting the contacts so in this way I got my account with some contacts okay similar case uh, what uh, you could get is uh, you could get account with opportunities so uh, in here since I inserted my contact I could have also returned this contact list so all depends upon me that how uh, me or the program wants uh, he can manipulate the logic as well so similarly I would be uh, writing this for opportunity in this uh, we would be getting a list of opportunity so we could get a list of opportunity get opportunity and uh, in this passing the account ID and uh, the amount that is a required field and the number of opportunities okay so similarly I would be getting my account and I would be uh, getting the for loop and in this what we would be creating is opportunity same like of contacts so o dot account id would be a dot id and o dot amount would be equal to amount and uh, I think uh, there is a closed date also o dot 
close date uh, would be day not today dot add days uh, in this you could have five and uh, uh, you could also have the stage name like uh, respecting or in negotiation and uh, what needs to be done is create a list of opportunity and add this in here and insert your list of opportunities and return this list of opportunities okay so uh, in this way your error is gone so i hope you understood this so let me do is uh, create a class and we would be uh, using uh, this test factory methods so uh, I would be making another class some checking uh, random data so with this name so I would be writing at the rate is test and uh, what I would be doing is public static void uh, at the rate is test so no need of stat only static so in this what we could be doing is account a is equal to we would be using test factory dot account get account so we are getting the simple account um, and the name would be uh, let us say programming okay and system dot assert equals we would be using assert equals and the name would be what we are expecting is a dot name and the actual is and what is the actual that we passed is programming okay saving this running our test so uh, we got a success log let us see that whether our assertion worked or not so yes it worked so let us say uh, our expected is we are modifying this so now uh, it should throw uh, that the assert statement didn't match your uh, code so see okay uh, we haven't logged anything but in the status we could see uh, directly is the assertion failed see uh, assert exception assertion failed expected was programming but actual was 6 7 programming so uh, this is the way how you could uh, make use of your test data factory for uh, creating and modifying tests so i hope that uh, you all understood the importance of your test factory because uh, this is a class where uh, you have to work only once and for any uh, Thing you would be referring uh, the methods from this class into other classes so yes this is a very big advantage and it also saves a lot of time and effort so I hope uh, with this video you understood the concept of your test data factory and uh, thanks for watching then